Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement and uh, this in this video we will learn about the data validation but uh, one more step ahead that how we can create the uh, dependent data validations okay so let's get started this is another video for advanced excel series if you are learning advanced excel i recommend you to learn this trick also definitely it will help you help you to uh, make the scenarios which are dependent on two or more than two cells and you want to use the data validation for uh, from one of my whatsapp group i got this query that uh, the question was what will be the formula if i want to put in data validation so that it is linked with the previous cell and the cell must validate for whole number greater than zero so uh, what what the user wants is that uh, there are two cells and the first cell should contain the whole number uh, which should be the which should be either zero or greater than zero but not the negative numbers okay so definitely we will put the basic data validation that this cell will accept only zero or more than uh, uh, positive numbers not the negative numbers next he wants that if the previous cell is empty if the previous cell is empty then it give error message uh, what will be the error to be filled after previous one if if uh, this if i write something here and this cell is empty the previous cell is empty so the error should come to be filled after previous one while it also give message data must be greater or equal to zero when i writing anything here there should be a message that convey me that data must be greater than or equals to zero so let's do one by one this dependent data validation and how to execute it for this you uh, must have your excel data validation fundamentals very very uh, concepts very clear and you will be uh, then you will be easily applying this uh, situation so let's get start for the data validation you go to data tab uh, you click to the data validation button you will get the data validation window and here we will put the scenario in the first cell which is uh, the requirement from the user is for the whole number and we will select the criteria greater than and equals to and in minimum we will write zero then we will go to the input message because we when the user comes here in this cell he he, he should uh, be prompted that uh, uh, the data must be greater than and equals to zero so we will be writing message for the user the data or you can say the value must be greater than or equal to zero okay so as soon as i click on a2 a message prompt here uh, just like a box in a yellow and the text and the message showing that the data or value must be greater than or equals to zero if i write minus nine any negative number it gives me the error okay and if i write any positive number for example eight it's accept if i write zero in it it accepts because i have uh, given this cell uh, the validation criteria which is the value must be greater than or equals to zero in this cell right now come to the next cell which will be dependent on this cell what i want is that uh, if this yellow cell is blank and if anything i write on the blue cell it gives me uh, error it should not be filled because i have to fill first the previous one so my active cell is b2 the blue cell data data validation and here we will select the custom and we will create a condition that if the previous cell is blank then it should show the error so i will write equals to a2 should not equals to blank okay i have i have just made the criteria that uh, let me zoom it okay so equals to a2 should not equals to blank okay and i will uncheck the ignore blank criteria also in this window and in error alert i will write the message to be filled after previous one okay and i will click okay so as soon as i write my name in blue cell and i have not filled the previous cell it is returning an arrow an error to be filled with the previous one so for example if i write any positive number here 
and I will write anything in any text or alphanumeric number in the next cell it's accepting all right and if this cell is blank and anything I write here it gives me an error okay so this way you can add more than two three rules and make the cells dependent on the validation criteria thank you